Grand Rising, may all be well with each and every one of you. May you all be in good spirits. May you be feeling good, looking good, and all of that good stuff. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for your continuous support. Um, this is not the official or even finished setup product just yet, you all. But for those of you who didn't know, I have just moved about like a day or two ago. <laughs> so this entire setup is fresh. It is new. Um, so yeah, we are going to be piecing things together one by one, little by little. And uh, in due time, I trust that everything will be um, set up in the way that I desire and envision. So really quickly, if you all are interested, um, this is a raffle based online. Um, it's an online what am I thinking? Housewarming event. Excuse me, guys. I, I totally threw a boot for there, right there for a second. Um, so yeah, it's an online housewarming event. Um, I think I may try to do the whole shindig this weekend, but I'm so swamped. It would be best if I do it Monday evening. So let's plan and let's for those of you out there, my true and genuine supporters, let's designate a time, um, particularly maybe like Monday-ish evening, that you all are available, can designate a time to uh, join the live and basically gather with your girl and you know, welcome the, the good energies in, okay, the new beginning in, all right, the completion has begun okay the completion is final it, it really even hasn't even begun it's final okay so anyway the winner okay the winner whoever okay whoever donates to the channel whoever purchases something the winner will receive three hundred and fifty dollars okay so when you send something please if you can remember because i mean in the chat on the amazon wishlist chat it's not showing you all's names okay so i will need to know your names for those of you who purchased so far i think only i think one or two people have purchased i have to go in there and look um but i don't see your names okay so let's get to the read guys sorry that i'm talking a bunch but <sighs> you'll probably get more information excuse me um out on monday but yes the link will be down below okay the link to my cash app venmo paypal will be down below if you perhaps don't want to go the amazon route or or um the amazon wish list will be down below okay now that that's out of the way because i was starting to get a little annoyed <laughs> i was just i'm just excited you all you all just don't mind me okay now this is going to be a very very deep one okay um I am picking up on an energy. Um, it's so funny because when I moved in, you, as you all can imagine, I was just kind of like throwing stuff into bags or whatever. And as I was unpacking my tarot and oracle cards and such, this card was just by itself. It wasn't with the deck. It wasn't with the other decks. It was just hanging out at the bottom of the bag. And this is past life relationship. Okay. It says you have known each other before. Okay, now the energy that I'm getting collective is one that resonates with a feeling of not knowing if you will ever truly be able to love in the way in which you may have loved someone who could have hurt you very deeply. You know, I was listening to New Mind Frame. Shout out to her. I, I really freaking love her. But she, I feel, inspired this read um, based off of just a few things that she stated when I was listening in on one of her videos. I forgot what it was called, but when she said it really, really, I just began starting like channeling, like right with her, it seemed. But um, she had mentioned something about like how people throw you in the trash, you know, and basically expect, this isn't verbatim, but from what I gathered, they, they expect you to just wait in the freaking trash like a little freaking dog or a cat or a kitten that is lost, a little rat or a mouse. And these people just expect you to just wither away into nothingness 
while they turn their backs on you and decided to leave you behind without explanation. And again, I already know, no one is obligated to an explanation, but it just kind of shows people's characters when they operate in certain ways. If you have a problem, address it. If you have an, a, a concern, excuse me, I can't even talk. If you have a concern, address it, okay? But she, she really hit me there because they really, I don't know who I'm talking to, they expected you to just stay in the dark and nothingness, never to rise again, never to find out who you really are again. You know, they wanted you to be destroyed without them. But somebody here, many of you actually, you, you tapped into this yes I can energy. Okay, you could have started speaking positive affirmations over yourself and over your life one day. You decided to arise and awaken, activate, and become a better, stronger, greater, wiser person, a more knowledgeable person after the pain. You know, you had to go through the pain. You had to go through the um, tearful nights, the lonely nights, the loneliness. But what I'm getting and gathering, uh, Spirit is saying, Collective, is this isn't going to be for much longer, okay? A lot of you, you may feel like, yo, I mean, why, why does it feel like I can't move on or I'll never love this person? You know, that's all just a trick of the mind. It's an illusion. You never know. You may come across someone, which many of you will, who will completely sweep you off of your feet, who will make you forget instantly and in that moment instantaneously is the word if i may be specific all right so you don't have to worry about the past i feel like because you have let go of the past you were in this season you were walking into the season of romance prosperity something about your integrity is very like important here okay something you took exactly you took the high road and the Most High decided to sh boss you up, bliss you up, and show you off. <laughs> okay? Okay? And the right eyes are set on you. The right minds are attracting, or excuse me, attracted to you. Those of whom see the, see the light, see the glory. You could be age 33. Or you could go into some serious commitment at age 33. Or this person coming in could be 33 years old. Okay. I'm going to pull some messages from the angels of Tarot. You guys, my apologies. I wake up. This is my second water. I wake up. Thirsty is, I don't know what. That's just me. I've been having to drink like 10, 13 water a day. Oh my lord. Okay. Spirit guides, ancestors, most high creative all things, divine intelligence, give me some more messages. Yeah, like I said, you've been through a lot, okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, you've been through a lot in love, specifically. People giving you their arse to kiss. People not treating you with reciprocal energy. People not reciprocating your love. Okay? New mind friends spoke about this as well. And I know many of you have gone through this. Where it's like, you give all of you authentically, transparently to someone. And it's like they just stump on your heart, walk all over your emotions, walk all over you. But somebody's like, look, let me come in and make that better for you. Okay, somebody is going to come in very, very emotionally, mentally, and physically healthy, number one. Okay, this person could be in some night energy because this person could be very flirtatious. Okay, this person could have a wandering eye. Okay, so that <laughs> may or may not be a deal, deal breaker early on, but I feel like somebody will early on. After this little flirtatious <laughs> spell kind of aim, I don't know, it may or may not be for everyone, so this may not resonate with all y'all. But somebody wants to quickly 
Sweep you off your feet. Yeah, being swept off your feet. A sudden love affair. A lack of balance in a relationship. Ooh, okay. So this person could be coming from a situation where there was like a lack of balance, a lack of integrity, a lack of love. Or this could be, again, what you were dealing with with this past person or past, uh, recent past, future, whatever, present, whatever person that you've been dealing with, okay? All right, we got the four of fire. Yeah, so you are going into a, you're going into a season of just pure bliss. It's like, yes, you can. It's like nothing is stopping you. Nothing is holding you back. Not even your own damn fears or doubts. Not even the shadow aspects that continuously seek to ooze out at the most inopportune times. Not even that is stopping this momentum, this joy. You're about to catch up to something quick. You're about to regain something really quick. This could be like Either regain something, ret retain something, excuse me, or acquire something, okay? This could be in uh, the aspect of like, I don't know, if you're in monies, uh, a following, if you're like online, okay? Or if you do some sort of online marketing or you're just in the public eye. I definitely see a lot of business coming your way, okay? Yeah, we have send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Ashe, look, we have peace and contentment in your personal life. Yeah, I feel like that's all you seek. You just seek peace, balance, and total alignment, bliss. This is what you are working towards, okay? Yeah, somebody's at odds. Okay, look, we have the eight of earth here. We have the seven of water here. Yeah, time to make a choice. No procrastinating. Okay, look, we have get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Okay, so we have too many options, okay, and addictions. Okay, so yeah, yeah, someone here could be overindulging in this week. This could be in regards to food. This could be in regards to alcohol. I don't know why I'm hearing marijuana. Like somebody could be drink, uh, drinking a lot or like you could, I don't know, something to do with weed, like just smoking a lot because there's a lot going on and like you're trying to just catch up, keep up. But like a lot of you are just in an energy where you're like, I'm tired of having to fucking numb myself or I'm tired of always feeling like I have to go and get high or go and pick up a fucking beer or a fucking pe uh, bottle of wine or whatever the case like I just want to face all of this head on and spirit is like okay well admit that because you can face all of this that you're going through head on all of the pain all of the different scenarios and circumstances that life brings your way you can deal with it in a healthier manner and I feel like a lot of you are holding yourself accountable at this time in regards to just this okay yeah, you could also be um, learning all you can about a subject, a new subject, something to do with your work, okay? It's something that you've just recently learned, you've just um, mentally acquired in terms of knowledge and, and spiritual wisdom, okay? Spirit is preparing you, setting a table for you, or, or like a platform for you, or something is being revamped, redirected, remodeled, reimagined, or something like that here. Yeah, because something... It's something that you just recently learned that you're going to apply to whatever you're currently doing. And this is going to have a very, very powerful effect. A very powerful effect. Yeah, all you have to do is walk away. <laughs> eight of cups. Eight of water in this, in this card. But yeah, eight of cups. You have to walk away. You have to leave some things behind. You have to leave some people behind. Okay, you may have had to. But it was for a reason, Collective. It was for a purpose. It was so that you would get here, so that you could get here, and you're finally here. Okay? <clears throat> yeah. Taking the next steps. Bold and ambitious, ambitious choices. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Expanding your plans. Continue to move forward, bro. I swear, I was literally just talking to my daughter. Like, my daughter's like my mini best friend. She's only like eight. I keep it very child appropriate, you know, because we don't want our kids being all grown and fast ass. But I keep it very, you know, child appropriate to the level of her understanding. But y'all, she's she's not there. She's so smart. But I was telling her, I was like, yeah, I want to start hanging out with like more influencers or just more creators, like more like-minded people such as myself, like visionaries, innovators, more spiritualists. But, you know, in this day and age, so many people have been kind of programmed to 
be to themselves but also that kind of is an illusion as well is what I'm thinking really quick sidebar because it's like you just have to really get out there put yourselves in the rooms of the shoulders you seek to cross the the stroke you know the shoulders you seek to bump you know whatever and I don't mean physically but I mean you know hypothetically you never know who you're talking to these days and when people are talking to you they don't know who they're talking to they don't know what kind of mind you have yeah you're a scholar okay you you have so much spiritual knowledge so many lessons that you have learned that you have passed the test of flying with flying colors okay you can just about do anything but what the difficulty is that i'm seeing is it is the it's kind of like the rigmarole, the back and forth within your mind. It's like a lot of you battle a lot in your mind instead of just just saying, fuck it. Fuck it all. <laughs> I'm outie. Period. With your little backpack, with your little tote, with your dog, with your ace boom coon, with your right hand man, with your right hand gal. Do you hear me? And chop suey on these mofos. Do you hear me? Baby, the time is now. Look, we have the three of air here so yeah great sadness that will heal with time yes you have to go to god you have to go to spirit you have to go to your divine protectors you have to go to the archangels because the deepest and in the painfulest you know that's not really a word of pain like you felt it to your core and it took you a while to heal so you should be proud of yourself you should be proud of how far you've come you should be proud of the fact that you had the courage to heal, that you had the willingness to heal, the space, time, and opportunity to heal, but also balance out tapping into your inner child, being in nature, having fun, not being so serious about life, not taking things so serious. I feel like this is what is helping you. Yeah, let go of the past, personal growth that comes from challenges, exactly. Okay, so there could be a, a misunderstanding that you could have recently had with someone. Um, you could have felt like somebody was like slick trying to be funny, slick trying to like curse you. Like, and what I mean by curse you is basically speak on you. Like people could slick curse you in conversation by saying certain things about you. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but this could have been a misunderstanding or something like that. Okay, yeah, we have being there for those in need. Yeah, something about returning the favor. A lot of you can notice that you have a lot of helpers around you. A lot of people that just want to come in and genuinely help you. You could have never even experienced that before. This three of air energy is very powerful. You could be a Gemini. I'm also picking up on uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio energy, as well as Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, look, we have victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, or scholarships. Absolutely. Okay, here, last card, we have seven of, well, this would be the seven of swords. Somebody is running away from something. Okay? This could be some sort of shame, embarrassment, pain, trauma. Okay? Yeah, we have make sure you are being honest with yourself, embarrassing secrets. Huh. A loss of peace of mind, a personal freedom, take caution and be aware of others' actions. Interesting. That's interesting. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be your energy. I just sought to kind of, you know, read it out. Um, in the event, it resonates someplace. Okay? Um, but yeah, Collective, that is what I have for you all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this read as much as I enjoyed giving it. I am going to go ahead and get my hair, y'all, it's about taking like at least an hour and a half, but <laughs> I gotta get my hair flat ironed, get myself ready for the day, y'all, it is like, well, my other phone broke, but it is like, what time is it, I think it's like four or five now, but y'all, I've been up since like two in the morning, and yeah, so, there's my day, <laughs> we're about to start it, we're about to get things done, we're about to have a blitz a fantabulous productive day we're not about to let nothing or no one um stump on our mood stump on our energy stump on our emotions we're going to take everything in stride and we are going to mind our own damn business while drinking our water do you hear me though okay <laughs> but um that is what i have for you all okay again for those of you who are interested in participating in my online housewarming event again the live 
stream will be Monday evening-ish, and then um, the link to my Amazon wish list will be down below. It doesn't matter how much you um, minister into the channel or how much you basically uh, purchase, how big, how little, it doesn't matter. Uh, but just whoever does, please be sure to send an email um, and let me know you purchased. You don't have to tell me what you got because I see that they have it to where they won't, you know, spoil the surprise. Meaning, like, whatever you purchase, they won't tell us, well, me. So anyway, um, if you guys need anything else from me, you guys, please don't hesitate to email me. I was about to say call me. <laughs> I don't know how many, uh, nice, genuine calls I would get. I'd probably get some creepers, and that would really scare the crap out of me. But anyways, y'all, let me get out of here. I'm looking tired and I'm rambling. Okay, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Have a kick-ass Tuesday.